Time to check in with Burlington's Mayor, Marianne Mead Ward, to see how uh, Burlington is doing. Good to see you. Good to see you. And we're seeing you in uh, green for a special reason. Yes, it is the uh, Day of Awareness for Organ Donation. And of course, it started with the uh, tragic Humboldt bus tragedy, the death of uh, Logan Boulay, whose organs uh, helped six other people. So sign your organ donor card on your license plate and uh, have a conversation with your family about it. I've done it for, for years, but this is this is today. Good. So uh, yeah. do, your, do your bit and wear, wear green today. Yes, absolutely. We're glad we could get that out there. Um, so here we are with uh, some extreme measures coming down uh, this mm -hmm. afternoon. Um, we'll talk about that, but first of all, let's get to vaccinations. And Halton was ahead of the curve with 60 and up. There was issues in Hamilton and other age groups. Their vaccine appointments weren't being made. Um, how is the rollout going on in uh, Halton? We are fully booked at, yep. uh, in our Burlington locations. There are still a couple of spots available if you want to travel a little bit. Any Halton resident can go to any of the six clinics in Halton. And of course, if you're 55 and over, you can book an appointment at one of the pharmacies that is uh, doing vaccinations as well. So, uh, so we've booked till the end of April and as we get new vaccines, uh, new spots will open up, but there's been great uptake. Yeah, well, that's good. What's not so good is uh, we're in lockdown and uh, things are about to get um, more restrictive with a possible, uh, we're expecting a stay at home order uh, coming this afternoon uh, at two o'clock. Businesses, and we just heard from the Canadian Federation of Independent mm -hmm. Business saying there's some businesses that just aren't gonna survive this. How precarious mm -hmm. is it in Burlington? Well, we've heard that uh, throughout the pandemic uh, and uh, many of our businesses have been able to pivot and reinvent themselves and move to either digital or curbside pickup. I know, uh, but I know it's tough. It's really tough out there. And I certainly join my voice with mayors across this province and country that we need to ensure that people who have to go to work because they're in essential services, get vaccinated uh, because those folks are the ones, uh, unfortunately, when they come home and then uh, their family is infected. Our businesses in Burlington, I know, are some of the safest places to be because of the precautions that they've taken. So uh, we certainly expect the stay-at-home order and understand the rationale behind it. it. It looks like, from what we're hearing, it's going to be pharmacies, grocery stores are the only uh, places allowed to be open. And it looks like the province is finally going to enforce fairness for big box stores and asking them to cordon off anything in their store that's not grocery or pharmacy. So that's a step in the right direction for our businesses for sure. Oh yeah, a lot of people have been screaming about that one for sure. Uh, how is <laughs> compliance being in Burlington? It's good. Yeah, we uh, our bylaw officers uh, will issue tickets. We're past the educate phase, uh, but they haven't had to uh, to issue many tickets. And I know uh, folks are concerned. I heard about it all weekend with crowds in our parks and our parks are still open. And so the, the rule of thumb there is while you may see a lot of people in our parks, if they are in small uh, household cohorts, that is actually allowed under the regulations. So we ask people to limit their contact to only members of your own household if you're if you live alone you can join one other household and get outside and enjoy some fresh air speaking of parks uh beachway park uh, where are we at with the plans mm -hmm. for improvements so we uh, it's it's a 50 million dollar upgrade over time at the regional waterfront park uh this uh this week actually in at committee we will be discussing a couple of measures including potential for charging for parking on the weekends when it's busiest to help recoup some of the costs that our city taxpayers have paid uh, for all the folks who visited uh, there. And, and many of uh, the visitors are from outside Burlington, outside Halton, don't support it through their taxes. Uh, we welcome them and want them to come, but this is a way that they can contribute to the cost of keeping it clean, emptying the garbage, having a park ambassador program to make sure it's a great experience. So those were some of the things that we did uh, talk about on the call last week, and we'll talk about a committee. Okay, a um, bunch of surveys going on, and we're just about out of time, but uh, one I want to ask you about, your counterpart in Calgary has announced he's not seeking re-election. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you are uh, with the election next year. Uh, you're, there's a survey on uh, looking for public input on the next uh, municipal election. Uh, so well, what are you actually looking at finding out? 
uh, how can we make it better? How can mm -hmm. we make the election process better? What are the key issues for uh, residents? It's a city-run survey, so it's not connected to a campaign. Uh, but thanks for asking. Yes, I am running again. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, the campaign started early. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good to see you. We'll see you again next week. Take care, Bob. All right.